Yo guys, what's up? Me again, Joe, and all that good stuff. And let's just get right into it, then I'll say what I need to say towards the end. Something that I do, obviously, is you want to make sure you color correct your footage, right? Because obviously, when you're filming, the colors either they come out too bright, too dark, or too yellow, too green, or whatever it is, right? You want to make sure they look as good as possible. Now, there are two things you need to know. Color correcting is pretty much you prepare the footage before it gets color graded. Color correcting means if it's too green, then you remove the green and make it look more uh, neutral, right? Color grading is when you add like your personal like uh, preference to, you know, the footage to make it look good as possible, right? There's kind of too many things I recently started doing. Now, before I had the habit that I went to each individual clip and then I adjusted the uh, the colors, right, one by one. Now, that was a massive fucking amount of waste of time because I realized that my stupid ass, like, I should have just nested these guys to begin with, right? Now, for example, this is a top-down camera. As you can see here, these are all basically the same angle up to this point. So let's just move this up. Same, same, same. As you can see here, basically what we're doing is we're di we did a time lapse while using the overhead camera as we pulled apart a few computers, right? So we basically just had one camera going the whole time. So obviously it'll make absolutely no sense to go to each individual clip and fix the colors. As you can see here, using the Lumetri scopes, again, you can find this going to Windows and Lumetri scopes. I should right click on it. I should leave it as a waveform. Or actually, I'm going to use these two kind of like uh, to show you better what I'm doing. So as you can see here, it's telling me that this clip right here or this overall camera look, it has more red than green and a little blue, right? So so what I'm going to do is, again, we want to color correct this. So, so starting from here, from this guy all the way to here, we want to select these. So select that. Going to hold down shift. Going to select these guys as well. Going to make sure everything is all right. I need this one as well. Holding down shift. Select it. Now I'm going to right click. Once I selected the group that I want, like I hit nest, just say overhead cam nest one, hit OK, boom. All right, now I'm going to select it. I'm going to go over here to my Lumetri windows again. In the windows, you want to make sure select it first. You want to go to basic color correction. Basically, we want to like, when you crank up the color waveforms here all the way up to 100, pretty much what you start doing is you blow everything the fuck up. Pretty much that means anything that touches here to 100 is white. Anything that touches here on zero is black. Before I actually use curves, you can use curves, but I actually started messing around by using like uh, Lumetri. Uh, and this does a way better job and faster too than like using like RGB curves. The reason why I didn't use this before is because like I noticed that I used to like lag my computer a lot. It will slow me down and I didn't like using this, right? But now with the recent updates, uh, Lumetri color is actually really, really <laughs> fucking extremely awesome, right? That being said, we want... What I, how I start is I'm going to crank up the whites again. The whites, what it does is it's going to increase the waveforms to the 100 area, which is if it gets near it. But as you can see, if I crank it down, it gets dark, goes up, right? Uh, I usually like to leave everything around 90, between 90 and 100. I don't want to crank it up too much. I want to make sure you guys see what I'm doing here. So now uh, there's a lot of red. So we want to make sure everything's kind of like even. Again, we're color correcting. We're going to do the color grading later. So I want to make sure everything looks good enough to like start with. And then towards the end, we add our color grading. So crank up the exposure a bit. We drop the whites a bit down. So increase the exposure a bit. I don't like too much contrast. If anything, when I'm color correcting, I like to reduce the contrast. I'm trying to get some of a flat look. So like, say like negative five area, that's pretty good. The highlights, maybe I crease it that a little bit. The shadows, if I go down, it makes dark it, make it darker, right? But no, I don't want to go too dark. I want to increase the shadows, actually. I want to kind of see the details in the dark areas. So I'm going to increase that to maybe 16 or so. I'm just going by eyeballs. So, I mean, your footage is going to be different, obviously. So the blacks, again, you know, you can see what happens. That I kind of like, I just increase it by 0.3. I don't like solid black. I don't know. That's not for me. I kind of like I said, I'm going for like a certain look here and like I just don't like the blacks look completely solid. So if I turn this on and off, I see how dark it is, which has increased it. So let's see if I can, uh, what happens when we mess it around with the temperature. I'm going to add a little bit of blue, not too much, just to kill the red a bit. All right. So cool. You can see the massive difference. Before, after, before, after. Now, the cool thing, like I said, since we created a nest, they were all the same thing. So instead of going to each individual clip one by one, I just created a nest and like a pretty much just like uh, color graded the whole thing, right? And I could do the same thing with like uh, the rest of my footage since like I'm at like, the same angle. I say to me going to each individual clip, I could just nest like the ones that are extremely, you know, similar. You know, obviously, 
if it switches from like you know something like this, and I'm gonna have to like take my time to color correct this uh, clip individually, right? But the ones that are very similar to each other, I could just nest them and then like you know add my color correcting to that nest. And it just saves me a lot of time, right? So that's something I started doing, right? So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Hope it helps. You know, you can see the difference. Just it looks way better. And it's just yeah. And you used to limit your color. The cool thing I like using about this thing is that when I used uh, the RGB curves, it's very very sensitive and like it can mess up your colors very badly if you don't take your time with it. And it was it got frustrating. And this thing just with a few slide uh, sliders here, it was just like. Uh, it just saves me so much time. So yeah, definitely start messing with a metric color if uh, you want to start learning how to like mess around with your um, your color grading and color correcting, right? So again, this is color correcting, not color grading. I'll get more to color grading more down the line. So that's it for this video. Thanks for uh, watching. Take care and peace.